Hi everyone, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery and today we will be painting this Pilsner glass. As always, here is our supply list. Feel free to pause this section, take notes, or just carry on with me. Place the contact paper square on the front of the mug. Because the mug curves, there will be a part of the contact paper that overlaps on the bottom. Use a piece of masking tape to secure that spot so no paint gets underneath. With a medium round brush, paint the outside of the mug using one coat of key lime pie and one coat of lime rookie. I suggest to dip your brush in one color and paint just stripes all around the mug and with the other color just try to fill in the spaces that were not painted previously. And remember we are just doing one coat brush stroke so that just means you need to do one brush stroke and that's it. Move on to another part or another side of the mug. Dip a toothbrush in water and in a little bit of Green Acres paint and splatter them up. Use the pointy side of any liner brush or fan brush to remove the contact paper square. With a pencil, go ahead and sketch the placement of all your shamrocks. An easy way to sketch a shamrock is to imagine three hearts and a stem. With a liner brush, paint these shamrocks using Happy Go Lucky. For this fat to skinny brush stroke, dip your brush in paint before every leaf and stem. When painting, have all the lines meet in the center of the shamrock to give the leaves a sprouting out effect. Here I'm just going to let it play so you guys can see how I make each shamrock. Um, some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, just depending on where they are and how easy are they to paint. While the outside dries, we'll be using a fan brush and two coats of water yolk to paint the inside of the mug. When you're done with the inside, make sure to give the mug a few minutes to dry. After the larger green shamrocks are dry, use a liner brush and old yellow to paint smaller shamrocks inside the green ones. Here, I'm just going to have the video continue on so you guys see how I paint each shamrock. Here's how the mug is looking so far. With Q-tips and green acres, dot the edge of the square where the paint meets the bisque. With the Q-tips and green acres paint, paint the dots on the bottom and the top of the mug. On the bottom, try to avoid the shamrocks as best as you can. After this, we're going to let our mug dry for just a few minutes. With a pencil, sketch the writing on the center of the mug, or use a traceable font. Use a black love fun writer or a liner brush to paint the writing. I feel more comfortable with a liner brush, so I use that, but feel free to use any fun writer you'd like, or a puffy paint if desired. Have fun with it, make it your own. With the Black Love Fun Writer, outline the center square encasing the writing and outline all of the shamrocks as well as add smaller dots as accents.
Make sure to practice using the fun rider before starting and hold the mug as comfortably as you can. Don't forget to use the black left fun writer to add dots around the mug. Thanks for watching.